Hi everyone, uh, I'm back again um, doing another review for you. Um, this one's a sort of horror, um, but not really a scary horror. Um, you'll see what I mean what I, uh, when I say a not really horror, and it's Ghost Rider. Um, Marvel superhero character, supernatural superhero. And the way I say it's a non-horror, because uh, if you know Ghost Rider... Um, he battles demons and what have you, and he is half demon himself. Uh, he's got a blazing skull for a head, which you can see on the front, and he uh, rides a motorcycle with flaming wheels, so you can't go wrong there. Um, all in all, Ghost Rider, I'd, I'd have to say Ghost Rider is in my top ten Marvel superheroes. Um absolutely love Ghost Rider. Um, recent, uh, recently, while I haven't been making videos, I've been going through my uh, Marvel Xbox games and I played Marvel Ultimate Alliance and because I've already unlocked Ghost Rider in there, I've pretty much used him throughout in my team throughout all of the game, and um, yeah, I I pretty I nearly fully upgraded him. Like I I chose his uh, the costume that he comes in and I upgraded the costume as well, so he was an absolute monster. I was just spamming his Hellfire move all the time it was like a one hit kill and he's uh, he's just so awesome I love Ghost Rider so so this movie um, again I find that this movie is like the, the Hulk movie that came out in 2003 um, when it came out everyone loved it because oh, it's a Ghost Rider movie but then there was a sequel that came out and I think a lot of people like the sequel better but um, I do like the sequel but I also really like this movie as well um, so basically, if you if uh, you don't know the story of Ghost Rider, this is pretty much the uh, origin of Ghost Rider. Um, it's the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider before I started. So uh, not the Dan Ketch Ghost Rider. But uh, if you don't know Johnny Cage's background, no, not Johnny Cage. Um, Johnny Blaze. Um, what did I say? I, I said Johnny. I know I said Johnny Cage because Nicholas Cage plays him. But um, Johnny Blaze. Um, Basically, he makes a deal with Mephisto uh, when he's a young boy to uh, save his dad's life from cancer. And uh, the day after he makes the deal, uh, he sells his soul to Mephisto for his dad's health. Um, the cancer clears up overnight. And then, because uh, they work in a carnival doing stunts on motorbikes, a stunt goes wrong and his dad dies the day after. Um, and, of course, Johnny Blaze... Uh, goes out uh, trying to find Mephisto and um, yeah when he grows up he does all these stunts like his dad and then uh, one day Mephisto comes to him and said that he's um, he needs his help with the curse and whatever and uh, that's when the Ghost Rider curse fully activates when he sends into Ghost Rider and he uh, needs to hunt down Mephisto's uh, son uh, if you know Ghost Rider you know what I've done that son um Blackheart, so uh, he's come to Earth to, um, well, come to the uh, realm of the living to wreak havoc and try and find a uh, a scroll that gives him ultimate power. So um, that's basically the story of this movie. Um, like I said, it's the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider, who I believe was the first Ghost Rider in the comics, I'm not too sure. Uh, like I said before, he's played by Nicolas Cage. Um, that's why I kept saying Johnny Cage for. Um, you also got Eva Mendes in this, and uh, Wes Bentley, uh, who you might have seen in films like The Hunger Games. Um, uh, I can't remember the guy who plays Mephisto, though. No, I really can't remember his name, but um, I prefer the Mephisto in this movie to the sequel because in the sequel they just call him the devil and he's played by Kieran Hines and uh, he really didn't I don't think he suited Mephisto to be honest um, I'll always call him Mephisto and I, I, I think he was meant to be the devil in that but I always just called him Mephisto um, because of the comics um, again, I did like the choice of Blackheart I did like always Bentley as Blackheart but um, there's something about him I didn't quite like I've always been a fan of the demon form of Mephisto. Um, yeah, this one, it's a little bit longer than I hoped that I'd like my movies to be. This is about one hour and 58 minutes. 
Um, but saying that, this is the extended cut as well. Um, it was directed by Mark Stephen Johnson. Oh, excuse me. And uh, you've got quite a lot of special features on this. Um, you've got two discs. And uh, first disc, you've got uh, the movie and uh, never-before-seen footage. You've got commentary by producer Gary Foster. Uh, commentary with writer slash director Mark Stephen Johnson and visual effects supervisor Kevin Mack. And then this two, you've got three making of documentaries. You've got Spirit of Vengeance, Spirit of Adventure and Spirit of Execution. Uh, there's Sin and Salvation, uh, featurettes chronicling uh, 40 years of Ghost Rider comic book history. And then Animatics, so... Um, Oh, yeah, I, th I think I've seen a couple of these before, but it was ages ago. Um, yeah, like I said before, I'm a massive fan of Ghost Rider, so uh, I absolutely love that other uh, artwork. It's the same on the DVD. And then if you have a look on the back, there's an awesome picture of Ghost Rider on his motorbike. So, or his hell bike, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty much the same cover for the DVD. Well, not pretty much it is the same um, now the disc when I've got this uh, the disc was actually broken and I'll show you I don't know if you're going to be able to see it properly but if you look right there there's a chip in the disc when I got it but um, yeah, I played it and it plays fine so what can you there's nothing you can do really it plays fine so just keep it um, Put the disc back in there so it don't break again. And um, the artwork on the disc, I think it's meant to be his motorbike, but um, can't really see it clearly. And it's the same with the bonus disc, but it's just an orange colour. So, and it has got a booklet, but it's not about the movie. I think it's just films that you can get. I think this came out when Blu ray was just coming out, so yeah, it's just telling you what a Blu ray disc is. So. Yeah, there's not much else I can tell you about the movie. Um, so 15, so that's why I said it's a, uh, a moderate horror movie, I'd say. Um, a minor horror movie. Got moderate horror and what have you. But um, what I did like in this, actually, was um, they had Cart Slade in, the, um, in this movie. I can't, can't remember if that was his real name in the comics, but uh, I know in the comics I refer to him as the caretaker. And then you find out in this that he's also a Ghost Rider, and there's an awesome scene with the uh, song by Spider Bay, uh, Ghost Riders in the Sky, um, where they're riding through the desert. You've got uh, Johnny Blaze on his motorbike, and then next to him is uh, Carter Slade on his horse, and uh, in his Ghost Rider form. And the horse looks amazing, it's like a zombie horse on fire. And you've got Carter Slade in his cowboy outfit with his uh, flaming skull. Um, so, yeah, um, that was just an awesome scene. It's my favourite scene in this movie, actually. Um, so, that was my review on Ghost Rider. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing if you have. And if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. And I'll see you all later. Bye.